good morning in the asexual mode of reproduction we can study the multiple fission in the plasmodium in plasmodium we can see that one parent cell having a cyst wall and this cyst wall is the very thick wall which protects the plasmodium from the adverse condition from the desiccation from the oxygen uh, deficiency from the other uh, nutritive lackness in this case we can see that one plasmodium cell is dividing and its nucleus is dividing for many times and when its nucleus divides for many times makes the many daughter nuclei which has been shown in this figure by the green color and these all the daughter nuclei are surrounded by the cytoplasmic fluid and the nuclear membrane and the cytoplasm and the cytoplasmic uh, cell membrane later on all the cellular apparatus get appears or develops and uh, after the breakdown of the cyst wall in the condition of the arrival of the favorable condition all the daughter uh, spores uh, get released in the atmosphere and uh, grow into new individual plasmodium so the process of formation of many daughter daughter uh, spores or daughter plasmodium from one parent plasmodium is known as multiple fission multiple fission is the process of formation of many daughter plasmodium cells after the successive breakdown of the nuclei in the daughter plasmodium that is known as uh, multiple fission now you will be coming in the asexual mode of reproduction which is taking place in the case of the fragmentation and this fragmentation is actually seen in the case of the spirogara in the old pond system in the old pond reservoirs the water reservoirs the fresh water reservoirs we can see that the green pond has come yeah dark green pond has come or found over the water surface these are actually the filamentous spirogara when you will take this stick uh, and lift them you will see that these are the filamentous structures and these actually these filamentous structures are uh, spirogara you will be uh, taking one or two filamentous uh, spirogara and putting them under the slide and uh, after pouring one drop of the glycerin over the filaments you will be covering them with the cover slip and see on the microscope you will see the structure of this uh, spirogara uh, like this way that in this way this uh, spirogara in which the nucleus has been shown and the different walls which are called septa have been shown and this a spiral chloroplast whatever this this is spiral chloroplast you can see these are this is spiral chloroplast has been shown upon maturation when the maturation arises after the maturation what happen this is spirogara the parent spirogara this is we can understand this is the parent spirogara it will break into the many fragments and all the fragments all these fragments will be growing into the new individuals this is the asexual mode of reproduction in the spirogara and vista uh, Uh, this is the reproductive uh, procedure in which the parent spirogara break uh, upon maturation and grow into new individuals actually uh, when we compare that this uh, fragmentation is taking place in another organism or not so we will have to know that these are the uh, these are spirogara is made up of few cells having the cellular level of the body organization but in the case of the complex organism we will have to study that organ system organ level Uh, body uh, organ organ system level of body organization is found that is made up of different types of tissue different type of specific tissues and this different types of specific tissues cannot be formed by only one specialized tissue one specialized cells so uh, here we have to know that the complex body organization cannot be formed only by the mode of the fragmentation but in the simpler organism like this spirogara it and it it is seen that after the on the basis of maturation yeah in the maturation period this parent cell this parent's body will be breaking and making uh, all the broken fragments will be growing into the new individual's body so that is the fragmentation is the process of uh, uh, production of new individuals from the broken fragments of the parent spirogara body when we will study about the regeneration when we will study about the regeneration we will have to find here this figure what is what is given in your book that regeneration uh, takes place in each and every cell uh, regeneration is carried out by a specialized cells in which one parent cell is accidentally getting broken accidentally it is broken into many fragments you are looking here these uh, many fragments will be growing and making the after the regeneration because in this body the specialized cells you can see the stem cells that is specialized cells which are uh, working like the stem cells having the proliferation capacity having the differentiation capacity these all will be growing and making the remaining part of the body and that remaining part of the body will be developed 
uh, in a proper sequence and after the proper development that will be making the new platyhelminthus uh, sorry planaria uh, planaria is the member of uh, platyhelminthus phy phylum so this is the type of regeneration this is the mode of regeneration in which the specialized cells are involved and that specialized cells will be proliferating and differentiating the different parts which have been broken by the accident by an injury and this happens regeneration happens in all the different types of organisms and regeneration also happens in the hydra too which is the member of cell and treat but this is happening uh, in all the organisms in which uh, the complex vertebrates invertebrates the other type of organisms can be seen that this all the organ system containing uh, body body organization containing organisms will uh, have the regeneration capacity if after the injury after the cut of the different parts yes some specific parts because this is limited this is the remaining part of the body grows in the budding too when we will study in the hydra that is the call budding we can see that in budding uh, the you know that in the cylindrate in the hydra some specific cells are found and that specific cells will be making the protrusion here and that protrusion will be growing after take, taking the nutrition from this parent hydra and making the bud this bud will be maturing and enlarging and after the complete maturation this will be break, broken from this point and grow into the new individuals but this uh, uh, budding is uh, taking place only due to the presence of some specialized cells which are of regenerative cells which are of the regeneration capacity which are of the differentiation capacity and will have the capacity to make the different parts different cells of the hydro body so this is the process of formation of new individuals by the bud the process of formation of new individual of the new generation by the process of formation of bud that is known as budding and budding takes place in hydro thank you